Hi and welcome to this quick demonstration of the new addition in 2018 to FitPro Client Recipes. We've been working on an exercise library so it's been, probably been a bit quiet over the last few months. Um, in the exercise library, once you've set a few settings, given it a title, you've chosen which system to use, decided whether you want the clients to uh, have the exercise as default once to sign in, uh, wants to sign up and obviously whether you want to allow e exercise for all existing clients and then choose how you want your images to display regularly or cartooned. Now once we do that we can then go into the programs area. Now in the programs area, to start with, this should be blank. Now obviously the first thing to do would be hit new. So we're going to add a program and we're going to call it the test program. And we're going to call it the test stage. Now once we've done that, we're faced with the exercise library on the left hand side, your exercise library, and that's exercises you've created, and the program on the right hand side. Obviously on a mobile, the search is at the top and your exercises are at the bottom. Moving on. If you wish to search exercises in our library or your own, you can search through ours. That'll bring back all the free weight exercises. I'll bring back all the free weight that are compound. So once you've chosen what exercise you want to add, You simply select, choose which stage it's going in, select whether it's timed or reps. I'm going to use a timed and I'm going to use two minutes. In fact, I'm going to use reps and 20. And I'm going to do two sets and I'm going to have a one minute rest between. I do want him to rest after the exercise for one minute and I do want him to use weights and I want him to use a 20 pound weight. Yes, I do want him to use a tempo. And yes, I do want him to do it at a moderate intensity. I don't have my own video, although if I did have my own video, I could choose between a YouTube and whether it was hosted on my own website. And if I wanted to change the details, that's the title and the information given, I could select yes and that would automatically bring in the text there. So once I add that to the program, my exercise will now be added to the program. body weight exercises. You can view the videos to check. The client will also see the images displayed at the bottom so they can see the images as well. They have to watch the video. Select which stage it's in, whether it's timed or reps. In fact we'll do this no, in fact we'll do reps and we'll do twenty reps. Two sets. One minute rest between. No rest after because this is going to be the end of the stage no weight used, use tempo and use intensity. I can change the title of the stage, I can add notes, I can add a rest period after, or I can remove the exercise. I can 
view the notes that's been left for the program. I can add notes for the program in there also. Uh, yeah, so what we're going to do now is add another stage. We're going to add a couple of exercises to this stage as well, using the body weight again. I'm going to use intensity. And I'm not going to use my own video and I'm not going to use my details. Add one more to stage two. Let's make it a rep. Let's give it 20 again. Two sets. One minute rest between. Don't want to rest after because it's the end. Don't want to use weight. Do want to use a tempo. And I do want to use an intensity. So that's my program created. So now what I want to do is go and submit it for somebody. So my test program is here. I can see there's four exercises over two stages, but I have no users. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into program access. And I'm going to make this available. For my three users. I can also add it to a library so it literally is just listed as a library item too. So now I can also schedule the program. Now I've added the access. I can schedule it for member one and it's going to be a period, it's going to occur weekly it's going to start this week, it's going to be every Monday, and it's going to schedule continuously. Now when I log out as me, and I log in as the client, within their exercise programs, the programs will be visible. And that's how to create a program with the new system. The client can also start the exercise. Well, I've timed in. There's a timer. They can stop and then restart if there's more than one set with a rest in between, as you can see. And then those times will be sent back to the database when the client has completed the exercise.